Solving a decimal word problem using a linear equation of the form ax plus b equals c. Okay? Um, and here's my problem. Lena purchased a prepaid phone card for $20. Long distance calls cost 13 cents a minute using this card. Lena used her card only once to make a long distance call. If the remaining credit on her card is 1376, how many minutes did her call last? Okay? So <coughs> the first thing I need to do is write an equation, okay? To, that represents this context so that I can solve the equation. Okay? So I know um, I, I can do this in two ways, okay? I could either think of it like this. The 13 cents a minute, okay? 13 cents a minute. So I'm going to go, let's see, 13 cents would be 0 0.13. And I'll use M for minutes. So 13 cents times every minute. Um, that's what she spent, okay, on her one call. And then I know that she still has $13.76. So the money she has left plus the minutes she used, okay, have to be equal to the $20 she started with, okay? I could set it up this way, or you could set it up as a subtraction and think of it like this, right? If I started with $20 and I used, okay, so I'm going to subtract 13 cents every minute to make a call, and I'm left with $13.76, Right? I could set it up as a subtraction problem that way. Either way is fine, whichever way you think about it. Either way, you'll get the same answer. But now I'm going to go ahead and solve this equation. So I'm going to just work on this one over here. If my variable is on the right side here, I need to try to get that variable by itself. So the first thing I want to do before I work with this term that has the variable in it, I want to just get rid of any other terms that are over on the left side here with the M. So to eliminate the 1376, the opposite would be, uh, the opposite of plus 1376 would be minus 1376, okay? So I'm going to zero this one out or get rid of it. But to keep my equation balanced, right, right side and left side, I also have to subtract 1376 from the right side. So... If I do 20 minus 1376, okay, that leaves me with 6.24 on the right. On the left, I just have the 0.13 M left, okay? Now, still trying to get the M by itself. So now I need to get rid of that 0.13. And this is implied multiplication right there. It's really 0.13 times M. So the inverse would be to divide by 0.13. Okay, that'll eliminate it on the left side, leaving me with just M. <coughs> but to keep my equation balanced, if I divide by 0.13 on the left, I also have to divide by... 0.13 on the right, so I'm going to take this 624 and divide by 0.13. So M is equal to 48, or the one phone call she made lasted 48 minutes.